singing and shouting, Lord, you reign. With a grateful heart, we lift our hands to you, proclaiming. Rejoicing, dancing, 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 Lord, you
Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Awesome is your name. Thank you for the let's go fishing us in. We bless your name. Thanks. Previous month. Oh, you is like unto thee. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be honored. You are worthy to be lifted up. Oh, Abba Father, be magnified. We bless and adore you. Who is like unto thee? Your fearful embraces, you always do wonders. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all. All oh, that is with him in holy. I say, Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is with him in bless his holy name, for he has done great things, he has done great things. Hallelujah, he has done great things. Jesus has done great things. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. What a mighty God. We serve, hallelujah, what a mighty God. We serve, hallelujah, heaven and earth adore. Angels bow before him, what a mighty God. We serve. We are serving Jehovah, what a mighty God. We serve, hallelujah, what a mighty God. We serve, hallelujah, heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Father, we serve a living God. Thank you for the opportunity given to every one of us to serve you. Thank you for this platform that you have used to reach out to people, families, even communities. Thank you for your healing balm. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your son you are using as instrument to glorify your name in the life of others. Father, thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We magnify you. We return the glory to you. We return the thanksgiving to you. We return the honor to you. We return the power, the adoration to you. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. It is important for us to make our request known unto God. The Bible says, as you speak to my ears, so I shall do for you. Our expectation today is that the healings of today's service will be greater than the healings we have been having in this service in the previous months, in the previous years, since inception. That is to prove and to show that God is a God of improvement, is a God of development. And so we want to ask God to heal in a new way that he has not healed before in our midst. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, by your name, by your power, by your anointing, let the healing take place 
in a new dimension. Oh, yes, Lord. As we ask, you keep record of our requests. Lord, please bring this request to a speedy answer. Oh, that the joy of your people shall be full. Lord, those who are having shortages in their blood, Father, make it to be normal. Those who are hypertensive, those who are suffering from diabetes, those who are suffering from amenia, those who are having the issue of tumor, those who are having the issue of bone marrow, those who are having the issue of heart, anything that has to do with our body. Lord, indeed, you are the creator. Oh, yes, Lord. It doesn't take you more than one minute to fix it. Lord, let there be a total replacement in any part of our bodies. Everything that has to do with our biological life. Oh, yes, Lord. Attend to it. Yes. Purutuye ikanande yi. Rekere dele de yi marika sindele boyi. Rakandele ikanama yi marike sente yi marinde yi. Reboko roboko soto yi marika santaya. Makandele indele indele boyi. Rakalem broko shinde yi marika santaya. Maranda linde yi. Rekere dele boko yi. Marutuye ikanande yi. Manakaya nanandele de yi. Rekere de le broko shinde yi. Maruti ye yi kanande yi. Lekere de le broko soto yi marika santaya. Oh yes Lord. Father please let the healing of today take a new dimension. That your name be glorified. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. After this we also address the issue of spiritual healing. Lord the spiritual controls the physical. Whatever we see manifest in our bodies have already taken place in the realm of the spirit. And so we want to address every spiritual wound, everything that needs healing in the realm of the spirit in our lives. As many that will join today, oh my God and my Father, let every spiritual healing take place in our lives. Everything that is wrong in the realm of the spirit with anyone at all, whether transferred, whether inherited, whether invited, oh yes, Lord, Father, please address them by your name. Address them by your power. Oh, wherever the person is, distance is never a barrier to you, oh Lord. You have done it before. You can do it again. Lord, reach out to everyone with spiritual challenge that Jesus indeed will be glorified. Yes, Lord, the most high God, the Alpha and Omega. At the mention of the name of Jesus, the Bible said, every name must bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We want to pray of physiological also. Healings. We also want to pray on enterprising healing. We also want to pray on ministerial healing. So we take these three together as one prayer that whatever needs to be corrected by the hand of God in our enterprise life, in our ministerial life, in our physiological life. Oh, yes, Lord. Father. As you said in your word, that you said your word in Psalm 107 verse 20, and the word healed, and the word delivered them from destruction. Lord, we are here for you. We are the people you actually address in that verse 20 of Psalm 107. Oh, yes, Lord, send your word in a new way, in a new pattern. In this healing service of today, Daddy, send your word. Ancient of day, send your word. The owner of the word, send your word to our individual lives, to our collective life, even in the service of tonight. Magandele de Yimarinde, Marutuye Ikanande Yimarika Santaya, Lekere de Lebrokoshinde, 
Marakaya nana ndeledeji. Kurutu ye ikamam broko sotoji. Korobo imari ya kasanta ya. Lekere dele broko sotoji. Marakaya nana ndeledeji. Kurunde yi ikanandeji. Marakaya nana ndeledeji. Rekere dele broko sotoji. Marakaya nana ndeledeji. Rende le broko roboko soto yi marika santa ya. Kalande yi marika swindele de yi. Oh yes Lord, thank you because you are God. Blessed, blessed be your name. In Jesus name we are prayed. In Jeremiah, uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 8 verse uh, 22. The book of Jeremiah chapter 8. Mam brokosho to maranda yi marika santaya. Lekere dele brokoshinde yi. Marakaya nanandele de yi. Rekere dele brokosho to yi. Makumari yandele hindele hindele bo yi. Rabaka sataya nanandele bo. Rekere dele brokoshinde yi marika santaya. Rakalaba hindele brokosho to yi marika santaya. Rakale de yi marika sindele bo yi. Thank you, Abba Father. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 22. The Bible said, Is there no harbor in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? And so the Bible addresses healing individually. The Bible looked at us on case by case basis. We want to pray that every man or woman, whether a child or adult, whatever status he is, whether youth, or whoever he is, whether old or middle age, oh Lord, let the balm of Gilead, the blanket of heaven, be released upon everyone. Whether it's a spiritual need, whether it's a physical need, whether it's a biological need, oh Lord, my God, you have done it before in our midst. We trust you that you are going to do it in a special way. Mandele kereboko shataya. Rabana yi marika sindelebo. The Bible says, all you that seated in many waters, your end has come. Makande lebroko shataya. Maranda linde yi marika. Jesus went to the grave and made a public show of principalities and power. And at the mention of the name of Jesus, the Bible said, every name was bowed. Every tongue confessed, both in heaven, both on earth, below, beneath the earth, that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Let the manifestation of that expression of that sentence be made upon the people today, upon your children today, upon the men, upon the women, upon the babies, upon the children. Yes, Lord. As many have a need of your healing. Oh, yes, Lord. Let there be no withdrawal. Let there be no delay. Yes, my God and my Father. Please do it and take all the glory. Please do it and let your name alone be exalted. That Jesus will be glorified. May this be the 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 bad day, the, the 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 resurrection gift from us unto you. That we have gathered your people. That your people have gathered unto your name, and you have decided, oh Lord, my God, to give them a an Easter gift. In healing every one of us, Lord, we present this request in a new way, in a special way, that your name will be glorified. The Bible said, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed in the city of Ephesus. Today, as the word of God comfort, my God and my Father, magnify your word in our situation, in our lives. Let your word grow, grow, grow mightily and prevail over every situation, every matter concerning us, every circumstance in our offices, in our marital life, in our businesses, in our ministries. Oh yes, magnify your word, grow your word. As an example in the city of Ephesus, you did it, and all the gods referred to as Diana, you brought them down. Yes, Lord, every god that did not create the heaven and earth, 
your word said they must perish. Lord, have they tormented your sons? Have they tormented your daughters? Oh Lord, the time to set them free has come. Lord, let the heavens be open for this service in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, mm -hmm. in the name of the Amen. Holy Ghost. Thank you, ever Father. Amen. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Tell Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. Is higher than cancer. Is higher than heartbreak. Is higher than any disease. Just speak in tongues if you know how to speak in tongues. Salabout do koba shata baba ba ke sebos ka re tebo gobos re ma baba ba shata ba gozo toko ya ha 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 ha
name is salvation, deliverance, healing. Lift up your hands to Jesus. The blind man see in his name. Cancer is gone in his name. The growth disappears in his name. Oh, hey, hey, God and the Jesus. in the name all things are possible in the name oh the name has been given out to us over our families over our jobs over our homes lift up your hands and say Jesus the name above all name above any financial situation above any health situation say Lord the name Jesus Jesus over my family Jesus over deliverance Jesus Free. 
Praise the Lord. Uh, we welcome you to, to tonight's healing service. Um, we give God all the glory that we are alive to be part of the mission uh, for of the healing service. Um, let us pray. Father, we thank you and give you glory. We honor you and give you adoration. 
We bless you for the things we don't deserve you've been doing for us, for the mercies you have continuously shown us, for the favor that we receive that we don't deserve. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Father, thank you for what you have been doing through the healing services. In the last three years, you have not failed. Every last Saturday of the month, you gather us to bless us. Father, take out the glory in Jesus' name. Daddy, we have come again on this last Saturday in the month of March 2024. We have no other help except from you. We surrender to you. Please have your way in our nights. Answer every prayer. Tonight, everything you have planned to do, please do all of them and even more. Bless your people. Heal the sick. Deliver the oppressed. Save the lost. Do signs and wonders. And Father, we vow not to shine your glory. Please, Lord, take all the glory in advance for what we do tonight. As we continue, please continue with us. For we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. And so we lift up holy hands in one accord, singing blessings. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. And so we lift up holy hands in one accord. Singing, blessed be the name, blessed be the name, oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Please join me where you are. Let's be worshiping God together. Let's be blessing God together. Anywhere you are, just be thanking God. Just be giving him glory. Please, let's be appreciating him. If God has not been on our side, we will not be gathered here this evening. Please thank God. If you look back in your life, God has done something good. The fact that you are alive is part of this Easter is because God has done something good. Please give him glory. Please appreciate him. Thank God for your family. Please worship him. Thank him for your family for your husband, for your wife, for your children, for your parents, for your siblings. Thank God that you are still standing. Please thank him. Please do not take what he has done for us for granted. God has consistently shown us mercy. If not for him, our stories would have been different. Please thank him. I know you are still expecting more from him. But thank God for what he has done already. Please give him glory. Please appreciate him. Please honor him. Thank him. Our God has been good to us. Give him glory. Thank God for the things he has done. Thank God that give him glory. Thank you, my father. Blessed be your name. Worship him for who he is. Give him glory. Thank him in your language. Bless him. He's sharing you. Honor him and give him thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Thank you. Blessed be your holy name. For the things that you've done that we know, we want to say thank you. For much more you have done that we may never know, we want to say thank you. Father, glory be to your holy name in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Ancient of death, we give you glory. Father, we give you thanks. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and worshipped.
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Brethren, we are going to pray a lot tonight. Hello. We are going to pray a lot. Tonight is a night of plenty of prayers as the Lord has led us. Please get ready to pray. And get a piece of paper and a pen or your phone ready. There are some things you need to write down. There are some very important things you will need to write down. God has been good. He has been speaking speaking to us about tonight's service. You need to hear all of them. I'm going to start by welcoming you once more. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. We we'll start with the text for tonight's service, for this month's service. And the text is Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. I'm going to read from here. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Praise the Lord. Now, this is an uh, introductory text for today. If you read that scripture very well, it's on the screen. It said, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And what did he do after the anointing? He went about doing good. God did, Jesus did not stay in one place. He was going about doing good. He was going about doing good. So tonight, we are going to discuss, we are still on Jesus. Jesus' diverse ways of healing, the diverse ways that Jesus heals. And we will be taking the subtopic. The subtopic we'll be focusing on, based on the text we just read, is the people Jesus met on the way. The, G the people Jesus met on his way. What are we trying to explain here? Jesus met people, many people on his way. And as many people as he met on the way, he solved their problems. Remember we just read, he went about doing good. As many people as he went, he met on the way, he solved their problems. But I'm going to, we're going to be sharing today two interesting cases of Two people Jesus met on the way, and they had problems, but he attended to their problems differently. Two people, Jesus met them on the way. They both had problems, but he attended to their problems differently, even though he met them on the way. You expect him to use the same strategy, same, same style, but Jesus attended to them separately, even though he met them on the way. And those are two interesting cases. One of them is the woman with the who lost her only son after the husband had died. The Bible causes the woman of the widow of Nain, Luke chapter 7, 11 to 16. Luke 7, 11 to 16. When Jesus met that woman on the way, they were weeping. Don't forget she was a widow. So the only son died. The Bible says Jesus met her on the way by actually by the gate of the city and had compassion on her. No questions asked. Jesus did not ask any question. Jesus did not discuss with anyone. He just asked the funeral procession to stop. The Bible says, he asked the man carrying the beer. The beer is the open casket carrying that this the body of this young man was being carried. He, had, he touched it and asked them to bring the casket down, the beer, as the Bible calls it. 
And they touched the bear. And then he said, young man, arise, get up. Today's language, the Bible said the young man got up. And they handed him over to the mother. That was how the, no discussion. Jesus did not discuss with the woman. He only had compassion on her. He didn't discuss with the person carrying the coffin. He didn't discuss with the disciples. And if you read that scripture, amazingly, the disciples were with him. But he never conferred with or discussed with anybody. That is one illustration. The same Jesus was passing in John chapter 9, 1 to 14. John chapter 9, 1 to 14. He saw a man that was born blind. In the case of the dead boy, he immediately raised the boy from the dead. In the case of this blind man, Jesus did not heal him instantly. That's one major difference. He didn't heal him. Instead, the Bible says, he put saliva on the ground, made, you know, a clay out of it, put it on the eyes of this guy, and asked him to go somewhere to go and wash in a, in a place called the, the Shiloh. He, he should go there and wash his eyes. The Bible says after he did that, he was coming, he was, his eyes were restored. He started to see. Now, so one major difference is that that guy was not healed instantly by Jesus. Jesus gave instruction when they, and put something on his eye, the sand, with his saliva. By the time the man obeyed the instruction to go to the pool of Shilam, that boy, he healed, he brought him back to life immediately. Can I also show you another difference? Another difference. Is that even if you read that, do you know? Uh, in case of the woman with the, the widow, he had many disciples with him, as you can see on the screen, Luke 7 11. But Jesus never spoke to any of them, he didn't discuss with his disciples. They were there, look at them. Many of the disciples went with him, he never spoke with any of them. But in the case of the man that was born blind, there was a lot of discussion. To start with, suddenly, as Jesus was looking at the man to attend to him, the disciples began a discussion. Eh, well, who, who, who is responsible for, you were asking Jesus, who is responsible for this guy's uh, blindness eh, since he was born blind? And eh, who, who, who shall we really blame? Was it the, was, who caused it? Eh, was it that his, his parents committed sin? Or, you know... Oh, what, what happened? Or was he himself that committed sin? How come he was born blind? A discussion was holding before even the healing took place. Before Jesus gave the instruction on what to do. Jesus answered them. He was part of the discussion. He said, all of you are wrong. Neither this man nor his parents sinned. It was after he, they resolved that. That he gave him, he began to make the sun, he made the, the clay with his saliva, put on the guy's eyes and asked him to go and wash and come back. So one was instant miracle. One was not really instant. One involved discussions with our apostles. One even there, Jesus did not bother to discuss with any of them. The way he walks is not the way we walk. He has a right to do whatever he likes. And tonight, I don't know how he will heal you. I don't know how he will attend to you. But I know he will attend to you. I know what he has told me. He will attend to you. Your matter will be resolved today in the name of Jesus. So we start with the first one. The one, the widow of Nain. What are the lessons we can learn from there? We start with Luke chapter 7, verse 12. The, ver the verse 12 is loaded. That verse, verse 12 is loaded. He said, now, the first thing you can see there is that he came near to the gate of the city. So lesson number one is that this miracle took place at the gate of the city. It was in that gate of the city that he met 
he met this funeral procession. Now, what is the importance of the gate of the city of name? You may not, let me explain to you the importance of that step because no word in the Bible is wasted. The importance of that is in Israel, every city has a wall and a gate. Every city is walled and gated. Now, people, when people die, they bury them outside the city. You have to leave, leave the city to go and much more, sorry, the cemeteries are outside the city. So what does that mean? What that means is that Jesus met this boy, this boy, the casket, this coffin of this boy at the right place at the right time. It means that if Jesus came one hour or 10 minutes earlier, he would have passed and would have missed. It means he, if he, was ten, he came 10 minutes after, he wouldn't have met them. In, in other words, just before it was too late, help came. I want somebody to pray. The first prayer point, say, Father, just before it is late, before it is late, attend to my matter. Don't let me miss my opportunity. Please cry out to God in the name of Jesus. Father, before it is late, before it is late, please attend to my matter. Don't let me miss my opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus. Please cry out to God. My Father, my God, before it is late, please attend to me. My Father, before it is late. I don't want my matter to be late. Father, before it is too late, please attend to me. Don't let me miss my opportunity in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, before it is too late, please attend to me. Attend to my matter. Don't let me miss my opportunity. Father, please, before it is late, please attend to me. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Lesson number two. The same verse 12 we are reading. It was a funeral procession. People were weeping. I call it a weeping procession. Everybody on that journey, they were weeping. How do I know they were weeping? Because if you go to verse 30, if you go to, uh, if you read further into verse 13, the next verse, Jesus said to her, weep not. So it means they were weeping. That's why in verse 12, he said, you know, it, 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 it wasn't mentioned that they were weeping. But verse, verse 13 said, Jesus told them, weep not. So they were weeping. It was a weeping procession. But that weeping procession, Jesus turned it around. When that boy was raised from the dead, celebration came, rejoicing came. I want you to please pray and say, Father, everything that has made me to weep, reverse it tonight. Cry out to God in the name of Jesus for everything that has made me to weep. Please reverse it tonight. Whatsoever that has made me to weep, Father, please reverse it tonight. Everything that has made me to weep, Father, please reverse it tonight. Everything that has made me weep, Father, please reverse it tonight. Whatsoever that I have wept over, Father, reverse it tonight. Please reverse it tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, everything that has made me to weep, Father, please reverse it tonight. My Father, reverse it tonight. Everything that has made me to weep, Father, reverse it tonight. My Father, reverse it tonight. My God, reverse it tonight. Everything that has made me to weep, Father, reverse it tonight. My God, reverse it tonight. Jehovah, reverse it tonight. Alpha and Omega, reverse it tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. I decree everything that has made you to weep. God reverse it, reverses it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Lesson number three. Still in that verse 12. If you read it, it says that 
A young boy that died was the only son of his mother. What does that mean? Get the picture very well. The woman was already a widow. And then he had only one son. And the devil went and killed that only son. So that son can be called a child or son of consolation. The one that the woman was hoping would be used to wipe away her tears. Her last hope. Her future hope. You know, let me take it closer home. I'll give you an illustration. Somebody, for example, lost his job. But he has savings. And he has investments. And the devil goes to attack those savings. Goes to attack those investments. And some story come out of it. That is the kind of thing that happened to this, to this particular person. That's what happened to this woman. Her source of consolation, the devil went to attack it. Somebody is having problem. Is believing God that uh, they're going to have another child when something went wrong with one child, and the devil goes to attack their marriage so that they are, they will have a the marriage will break. The source of consolation, God, the devil goes to attack it. I want you to get ready to cry out to God and say, Father, anything that is my fallback, anything the devil has that has damaged or destroyed, that is my fallback position, that is my source of consolation, Father, reverse the damage. Reverse the damage. Let's cry out to God. Everything the enemy has done, every damage the enemy is that has done already, and the enemy wants to now further destroy my source of consolation, my source of comfort. Father, please intervene. Reverse the works of the devil. Reverse the works of the devil. Somebody pray this prayer because God just told me, I am answering this prayer instantly. That's the word I had now. I'm answering this prayer instantly. And God said there is someone, there's someone who needs this prayer. Their last hope, the enemy is attacking it. You are source of consolation. The enemy is attacking it. And God said, I am reversing the work of the devil right now as you are praying. Just cry out to God. My Father, my God, that source of my consolation, that last hope I have, in the name of Jesus, reverse the works of the devil on it. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, reverse the works of the devil on it. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. I decree that your last hope, that your soul of consolation is right now in Jesus' mighty name. You will not lose that thing in Jesus' name. Amen. Number four, still on the same verse 12, the Bible says, a much people of the city was with her. In other words, there was a crowd. Do you know those who are with that widow? It's a pity party. It is people who are crying with her. It's those who are weeping with her. Those are the people who followed her. They joined her to cry. Everybody was crying. They were all weeping. I want you to know that when Jesus reversed it and healed that boy and brought him back to life, these same people, there's no way they will not turn their weeping into rejoicing and celebration. So I want you to pray. Because it's not good to, for people to gather to be weeping with you. I want you to pray and say, Father, anything that could make people to gather to weep with me, Never let it happen in the name of Jesus. Cry out to God in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, anything that will make people to gather to weep with me, never let it happen in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't want a pity party. Father, anything that will make people to gather to weep with me, 
Never let it happen. Whatsoever, oh Lord, that can make people to gather to weep with me, never let it happen. Please do not let it happen. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever that we make people to gather to cry with me, Father, do not let it happen. In the name of Jesus. It's already happened, Father. Father, frustrating. Whatsoever that we make people to gather to weep with me, Father, do not let it happen in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Prayer number five. Still on that scripture. If you go, you will see the Bible said, and she was a widow. That second line. She was a widow. That's no word wasted in the Bible. Someone or pain. The, ed, ed, the devil wanted to aggravate the pain. The devil wanted to add injury into her wounds. The, the, the devil wanted to compound her problems. Wanted to give her a double jeopardy. I want you to pray because God will not let the devil do that in your life. I want you to cry. Say, Father, every plot of the devil to increase my pain, to increase my suffering. Father, frustrate it in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, every plan of the devil to, to compound my problem, to aggravate my pain. Father, frustrate it in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, every plan of the devil to aggravate my pain, to worsen my problems. Father, frustrate it in the name of Jesus. My Father, frustrate it in the name of Jesus. Render that plan useless. In the mighty name of Jesus, every plan of the wicked to compound my problems. Father, frustrate it. Render it useless. Frustrate it, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. We will take case two now. Case two, I've already summarized it for you before. Is a the, about the man who was born blind. I've narrated the story before. I paraphrased it. And Jesus met him on the way, but did not attend to him the way he attended to the boy they were carrying the coffin. Instead, he gave instructions. Instead, he even held discussions with his apostles over him before the healing took place. I want you to know that it doesn't matter how Jesus will handle your matter. All I know is that he will handle your matter tonight. I want you to take the first lesson from that scripture is that it's taken from John chapter 9 verse 1. John chapter 9 verse 1. He said, and as Jesus was passing by, he passed by. He was passing by. Now, what's the message here? He saw that man. It means that the man was strategically positioned for Jesus to see him. It means that man was not at home like many of us do, lamenting over our problem, blaming our uncles, blaming some people even blame pastors. Some blame God for their problem. If the man was not at home. He was in a strategic place where Jesus will see him. We are the one who will help him will see him. I want to pray a prayer now. Because you need that strategic repositioning for your miracles to take place. I want you to pray and say, Father, position me at the right place and at the right time. Place me before those who will help me. Cry out to God in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God. Father, position me, O oh God, at the right place and at the right time. Please, my Father, position me at the right place and at the right time. Place me before those who will help me in the name of Jesus. Father, position me at the right place and at the right time. Place me before those that will help me. In the, let them see me in the name of Jesus. Let those who will help me see me. Position me at the right place and at the right time. Let those who will help me see me. Cause me to, to be where they will see me. Cause them to see me, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Position me, oh Lord, at the right place and at the right time. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Number two. Still on that, John chapter 9, verse 1, the Bible says, 
Jesus saw him. He said he's, he saw a man. He there represents Jesus. Jesus saw a man. He saw him. He saw a man born blind from his back. How did Jesus know the man was born blind from his back? He's God. He even knows what you are passing through. Even if you don't tell him tonight. He already knows. But the key thing I'm bringing out is that Jesus saw a man. He saw him. You know what that means? Jesus looked towards him. His case immediately attracted the attention of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray. Say, Father, let my case attract your attention tonight. Oh, God just said this particular prayer is for somebody. That somebody who he needs to attend to. He said, somebody, somebody needs, he want, pray, cry out to God. Say, oh God, see me. See me tonight. Cry out to God now. Say, Father, see me. Cry out to God. There is someone that needs this prayer. God is saying there is someone who desperately needs this prayer. You have been waiting for God to see you. He said, I'm seeing you tonight. I am seeing you tonight. Cry out to God. Say, Father, see me, oh. See me tonight. Please see me. See me, oh God. I am hiding somewhere, but I know you can see me. Father, see me, oh. Father, see me tonight. My Father, please see me tonight. My Father, please see me. Pay me special attention. My father, let my case attract your attention tonight. Give me special attention, oh God, tonight. Oh yes, you have attended so many services and God was attending to others. This part, and you have been saying, when will God look towards my direction? Tonight, God said, I will look towards your direction right now. God is looking towards your direction. Cry out to God. Cry out to God. Father, Look towards my direction. Let my case attract your attention. Let my case attract your attention. Let my case attract your attention. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, let my case attract your attention. Jehovah, let my case attract your attention. Father, let my case attract your special attention tonight. Look towards my direction, oh God. In the name of Jehovah, look towards my direction. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And so shall it be. Heal, heal. No, if you go to your to, to your foot, down, down, on the right, at the back of your foot, it's called the heel. The right, your right heel, that God said, that injury that refused to heal is healing it right now. Receive your healing now. I can see the sword closing. Receive your healing now. You are made whole now in the name of Jesus. Be made whole now. Be made whole now. Be made whole now. That heal is healed now in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer number two. Prayer number three. Sorry. Still on that verse one. The person that Jesus saw was a man that was born blind. What does it mean to be born blind? It means that that man never saw since he was born until that day Jesus healed him. He does not know what anything looks like. He doesn't know color blue or yellow or red. He had never seen anything. Brethren, you know what that means too? What it means is that problems that we were born with, Jesus is able to take care of them. I want you to cry out to God. Say, Father, every problem or sickness or infirmity that I was born with, intervene today and remedy them. Cry out to God in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, every problem that I was born with, Every problem that I came into life and saw, I, was, I grew up and saw it in my life. Father, please solve the problem tonight. Every problem that I was born with, every problem that I was born with, Father, please solve it tonight. Intervene, oh Lord, remedy that problem tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, remedy that problem tonight. Remedy that problem tonight. 
My Father, remedy that problem tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, remedy that problem tonight. Please remedy the problem. Whatever problem, any disease, any infirmity, any trouble that I was born with, Father, remedy it tonight. Deal with it tonight in the name of Jesus. Intervene on it tonight. My Father, intervene in that problem tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody, God is, God is healing somebody who has a problem on the left wrist. Thank you, Jesus. Pray, prayer number four. John chapter nine, verse two. If you look at John chapter nine, verse two, it was the place I told you there was a uh, discussion. You can see his disciples were asking him, Master, who this sin? Is it this man or his parents? That he was born blind. You know what that means? This man had a problem. Jesus had not solved his problem. And some people were prognosing their mouth into the man's problem. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord said that someone who has a problem on his palms, you know, a, a very, very severe pain on your right palm, he said, as, I'm, as I make, as you shout Jesus now, that that problem on your right palm will disappear. And I say in the name of God, the Father, as, I, as you hear the Holy Spirit, shout Jesus, and that problem on your right palm will disappear. In the name of God, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, shout Jesus now. Jesus, that problem disappears on your right palm now. That growth disappears now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Brethren, as I was saying, John chapter 9, verse 2, people were, this man had a problem, born blind, and people were making caricature. People were discussing the man's problem. If you read that story very well, you see that the disciples were already judging the, the man. Who sinned? Because we always think that when people have a problem, the person must have committed sin. The moment we see somebody, he say, who sinned? Was it the man or his parents? They were already judging a man who was in problem, as people always do in today's world. When people have sickness, oh, this man, this person has sickness. They say, eh, are you sure? Did he commit adultery? Eh, the, are you sure he didn't steal the husband's money? Uh, are you sure you did not? You know, people will begin to say, so he must have done something bad. Uh, are you, he's not having children in time. They say, eh, are you, do you know how many abortions she has committed when she was young? People begin to judge people. We are good in judging people. Meanwhile, God doesn't judge us. God is filled with mercy. Basically, what Jesus told them, if you read the scripture, he said, Jesus answered them and said, Neither the man nor his parents committed sin. And you know what that means? What he was telling them basically was, Stop judging this man. All of you are wrong. Don't judge this man. You didn't create him. You don't know what I'm doing. Look at it in verse 3. Neither had this man sin nor his parents but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Let's stop judging people. You don't know why people, God knows what is happening. It is not everybody that has a problem that has committed a sin. May we not judge anymore. May we be merciful like our father. I want you to pray because that man has become an object of discussion. I want to pray and say, Father, Anything that will make me or my family a topic of discussion for evil, Father, never let it happen. Cry out to God. Cry out to God. Father, anything that will make me or my family to be a topic for discussion, Father, never for evil, Father, don't let it happen. Whatsoever, oh Lord, that will make me or my family to be an object of discussion for evil, Father, please do not let it happen. Whatsoever that we make men or women to begin to judge me, Father, do not let it happen. Anything that we make men or women to begin to discuss me because of one problem or the other, Father, do not let it happen. 
Don't let men judge me. Don't let women judge me. Don't let any event that will make them judge me happen to my family. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, I want us to pray two more prayers. You know, to do to about to cry out to God and say, Father, every good thing that has died in my family, bring it back to life. Cry out to God in the name of Jesus. Every good thing that has died in my family. Oh, because for our family to have joy again. Father, every good thing that has died in my family, every good thing that has been destroyed in my family, Father, bring it back to life. Please bring it back to life. Restore it, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, every good thing that has been destroyed in my family, every good thing that has that is now dead in my family, bring it back to life. Father, restore it. My Father, restore it. Jehovah, restore it. My Father, restore it. Father, restore it. Bring it back to life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Another prayer we're going to pray concerning this one is concerning the, the other study. In John chapter 9, the, the man that was born blind, a blind man got his sight back from God. So I want you to pray and say, Father, every physical or spiritual defect in my eyes, remedy it today. Cry out to God in the name of Jesus. God says, I will, he will give somebody new eyes as we are praying this prayer. That somebody who has an eye defect. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. God is healing it right now. Right now. Cataract. I hear the word cataract. Cataract. God is healing that cataract. God is healing that glaucoma. God is cleaning it right now. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Father, every defect on my eyes, every defect on my eyes, every infirmity on my eyes, heal it tonight. Cataract, you are healed in the name of Jesus. God said, I'm healing cataract right now. That it is a, it is clearing right now. It's clearing right now. It's clearing right now. It has cleared. It has cleared in the name of Jesus. Receive healing now over that cataract. Receive healing over glaucoma in the name of Jesus. Be made whole. Receive healing over your eyes. Receive healing now in Jesus' mighty name. You have we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to make a call on behalf of Jesus for the next one minute, wherever you are, if you want to give your life to Jesus, please, wherever you are, just stand up wherever you are. I want to pray for you. I cannot see you, but Jesus can see you. Wherever you are, I want to pray for you. You want to say, Oh God, I want to surrender my life to Jesus so that my story will change. Please raise your hand where you are, wherever you are. Just stand up. I'm going to pray for you now. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone standing now for you. Please accept them. Remove their names from the book of death. Write their names in the book of life. My Father, my Lord, forgive them all their sins. Show them special mercy in the name of Jesus. And Father, by your Holy Spirit, enter inside them, live inside them, control them. Lead them, O Lord, and guide them. Use them to win more souls for you. And on the last day, don't let any of them miss heaven. But we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you just pray, if I just pray for you now and you stood up where you are, please, tomorrow, look for a Bible-believing church. Look for any parish of a Bible-believing church. And go there and tell them, I have been giving my life to Jesus. Tell the pastor there and they will tell you what next to do. And you will see your life will begin to change from today. Congratulations. I rejoice with you. Now, if you have a, a pen and paper or you have your iPad or your phone, you know, I want you to write down the special messages that God revealed to me. I want to share with you concerning today's service. Praise the Lord. So God, God is healing somebody who has a problem on his shoulder, on the shoulder. 
That shoulder that shifted is turning back. Just turn it. It will come back to normal. Receive your healing on that shoulder now in the name of Jesus. Be made whole now in Jesus' name. On the right shoulder, you are made whole in Jesus' name. So please write down what God has told us. Special messages. Not all of them is yours. Maybe one, maybe two. When you hear your own, you will know. Number one. God says, I shall announce. I don't know who God is referring to. But if I read it, you will know whether it is you or someone else. He said, you have paid all the prizes necessary for you to shine. He said, I want to take you beyond everyone in your community so that you will shine in the global stage. He said, but you are not shining because you are waiting for me. But God says, even though you are waiting for me, I am the one waiting for you to step out in faith. He said, I have made room for you at the top. Everything is ready except your faith. Everything is ready except your faith. Thank you, Jesus. God said that someone who has a problem hearing on the right ear, on the right ear, you know it, that that's a sensation on the right ear. Receive, God said, I'm healing that right ear now. Be made whole, be healed in that right ear. Now, in the name of Jesus, be made whole in Jesus' name. Amen. Lesson number, message number two. God says, that's a family that is here listening to me he said your family is known by him god and loved by god because you are doing a lot for god's house and he said because of your commitment doing a lot for god's house the devil is committed to attacking you and is attacking many members of your family god says i should announce to you relax i will deliver all your family members the person god is talking to understands he said if i god just said as i'm saying it he's doing it now he said relax i will deliver all your family members and he said i'm doing it right now number three god says the reason the person God is talking to understands, he said, the reason I let you pass through affliction was to strengthen you and take away the fear of the enemy from you. He said, from now, I will use you to deliver others from my affliction. Number four, God says, the person I will describe now will understand. It's one person. I don't know who it is. The person will understand. He said, do not change any part of that trip. Trip. The travel. T-R-I-P. Do not change any part of that travel. That trip. He said, do not add another leg to that journey. The portion you think you missed was not a mistake. God says, I have arranged it that way for a purpose. The person understands. Number five, God says, the enemy has perfected plans for you to go on a condolence visit to a childhood friend, friend's family. To a childhood friend's family. But God says, by the way, God is doing so many healings as we are, we are sharing this. You know, so whatever is your problem, don't, just, just, just touch that place because God is healing different parts of the body as we are sharing this. Thank you, Jesus. So he said, he said, I repeat the story. The, the, um, the person on the do not. No, no, no. He said the enemy has perfected plans for you to go on a condolence visit to a childhood friend's family. But God says that date has been canceled because of you. Because of you. 
that date has been cancelled. That your childhood friend, nobody will die in their family. Number six, God says that's a key natural resource that has been discovered near your ancestral home, just by your ancestral home. He says those who will exploit that resource we need your permission to build a project and extract it. God said, I should tell you, this is your opportunity to negotiate partnership or joint venture for the benefit of your community and your family. The person God is talking to understands. Number seven, God says, I should announce, the person who understands. He said, do not be afraid. That problem will not kill you. The person goes in to understand. Do not be afraid. That problem will not kill you. And then finally, number eight, God says, that evil society you previously belonged to will be wiped away from your records tonight. And you will be nominated and confirmed for that good appointment. I repeat that. The person, it may be one person God is talking to. The person understands. Say that in secret society you previously belonged to will be wiped away from your records tonight. And you will be nominated and confirmed for that good appointment. If I were you, let's just, God has spoken to us in ways that we can't even imagine. In your home there, let's just thank God. Let's praise him. Let's give him glory. Let's appreciate him. Let's thank him. They begin to thank him. Let's thank him. Our God is good. It's good. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you thanks. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, faithful God. We appreciate you, Lord. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, my father. Thank you, precious God. Oh, we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Please listen. It's a loaded day. If you have testimonies out of today's service, please send it to me to my WhatsApp. We will share it when we meet on April 27 for the next healing service of April. Send it to my WhatsApp. We will be glad. If you want to share it by yourself, let me know. I'll give you a chance to share it by yourself. But I want to quickly share a testimony that was sent to me about three or four days ago. And that came all the way from America. Someone who attended the healing service of last month, of February. Her name is Prisca. She sent the message from North Carolina in America. I will read what she sent. He says, a couple of a couple of months ago, I opened the freezer, and a heavy frozen item fell on my right foot. It hurt so much. I nursed it for some time, then went to see the doctor when the pain and swelling persisted. X-ray showed no broken bones, but doctor couldn't say why. I still have pain and the foot still swollen. Then came word of knowledge during the last healing service. Pastor said, someone has pain in the right foot. It was an accident. The foot is swollen and painful. The Lord is healing you now. And so shall he be in Jesus' name. She said, she, she said wow, I dance for joy. The pain and swelling are gone. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now I'm done with the testimonies. Let's give God all the glory in your house there. Clap for God. Clap for God for what he has done. Clap for God. Clap for God for what he has done. Clap for God. God has been good. He will do your own also in Jesus' name. He will do your own in Jesus' name. God is attending to your matter now. He will, He's attending to your matter now in the name of Jesus. God is attending to your matter now in Jesus' mighty name. 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay. Praise the Lord, somebody. Now, very quickly, I want to also share with you a special revelation that God gave me. I want to ask, please, please bear with me. We will spend the extra five minutes today beyond our closing time. Uh, that's a revelation that God gave as we are preparing and praying for this service. And the summary of it is everyone that has a problem on the brain, every mental problem, those oppressed by the devil in their brain, everyone that has a demonic attack, everyone that has a mental issue, everyone that has a mental health issue, cerebral palsy, you know, everyone that has suicidal thoughts, psychosis, psychiatric issues, everyone that has an attack on their mind, everyone that has addiction of any type, addiction on drugs, of any hard substance, every problem that has to do with demonic oppression, every problem and attack of the mind, God says he wants to heal all of them tonight. He says he will heal everyone that has a mental health issue tonight. Brethren, it's a wonderful night. And I rejoice with everyone who has challenged, mentally speaking, drug addiction, any form of addiction, any form of mental health issue, psychiatric, suicidal thoughts, psychosis, psychological, mind attacks, cerebral palsy, any form of problem, demonic attacks, God wants to take care of it tonight. He said it very clearly. So I want you to pray. And say, Father, every demonic, every demon inside me, hear the word of God. Get out and never return. Cry out to God in the name of Jesus. My Father, Oh my God, every demon inside my body. Get out now. Hear the word of God. Get out and never return. In the name of Jesus. Every demon inside me. Hear the word of God. Get out now and never return. Get out and never return. In the name of Jesus. Get out and never return. Get out and never return. Every demon inside me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hear the word of God. Get out and never return. Get out and never return. In the name of Jesus. Get out and never return. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Prayer number two. Every spirit of depression or obsession in my life. Reverse now in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Every spirit of depression. Every spirit of depression. Get out of my life. Every spirit of oppression. Oh, depression, obsession. Oh, oppression. Of the, of the wicked, get out of my body now. Get out of my mind now. Every spirit of oppression, every spirit of oppression, get out now. Get out now in the name of Jesus. I refuse oppression of the wicked. Every spirit of oppression, every spirit of demonic oppression, every spirit of depression or obsession, get out of me now. 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 In the name of Jesus, get out of me now. Get out of me now in Jesus Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. The next prayer said, every mental health issue in my life, be healed now. Begin to pray. Every mental health issue in my life, be healed now. Be healed now. Every mental health issue in my life, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, this is what God says he wants to do, specially. Cry out to God. Every mental health issue. Oh, be healed now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every mental health issue. Oh, every addiction, every drug addiction in my life, be healed now, be healed now, be healed now. 
Every form of addiction in my life, be healed now. Every form of if all oh, those of you, God said, though somebody who is addicted to pornography is healing you now. That someone who is addicted to pornography is healing you now. Be cry out to God because God is healing you now. Every addiction, you are healed now. You are healed now of that addiction. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Be you are healed now. Be healed now. Every mental health issue. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Brethren, do you know that so many people who have mental health issues cannot even pray? It is time for us to pray for them. We are going to join hands together right now. You know, literally speaking, we are going to pray. Everyone that has a mental health issue, that is represented here or is here already. Father, heal them. Heal them. Heal them. Heal them. Heal them. Please cry out to God. I will I permit you to unmute yourself. Let's cry out to God together. Everyone that has a mental health issue, everyone that has a mental health issue, them. Even if there's somebody here is representing them, but I hear them. Everyone that has any form of addiction, every drug addiction, every coffee addiction, every everyone that is depressed, let us try and know everyone who is here. The mental condition, all the way all the other, represented by someone who is here. And then we can say that we heal them of God, and then heal them of God. That is all. Everyone oppressed by demonic forces. Deliver the in the mighty name of Jesus, everyone that is the person, everyone with sickness, everyone that is everyone with mental illness, deliver that person, heal that person tonight. 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 Heal that person by the authority in the name of Jesus, everyone with a mental health issue, either you are here or you are someone is representing you, receive healing over every mental health issue in Jesus' name. Amen. Over suicidal thoughts, no more suicidal thoughts, receive healing over psychosis. Over every form of psychiatric problem, every addiction, drug addiction, pornography addiction, you are made whole. You are healed now in the name of Jesus. You are healed, you are delivered. Every demonic oppression ceases its oppression in your life. I command the demons oppressing, oppressing you. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Demon oppressing you. I command them now by the authority in the name of Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Get out in the name of Jesus. Free now. The word of God says, Where my son of God shall set free. It's free indeed. I command your freedom. Be set free in the name of Jesus. The power of God now. The fire of God is upon you. Receive healing now. Receive deliverance now. Be made whole now. Receive an encounter from Jesus. Be made whole Jesus. So shall it be. Amen. Mighty name, you are all healed and delivered. Amen. I want to give you now a chance to pray for yourself. 
Whatever is your request, I give you one minute to pray for yourself. Please talk to God now. Cry out to God, and God will attend to your matter. Cry out to God now. Cry out to God. Tell him what you want for your family, for yourself. God wants. God is not tired of answering prayers. You know, that's why I love that song, that miracle, not the tired Jesus. God can do anything. He can do, he, there's no limit for what he can do. He can attend to all of us and there will still be plenty of room in heaven. Please cry out to God concerning your personal requests as we round up. Cry out to God as we round up. Please cry out to God as we round up. Talk to God about your personal needs. You know, he's going to answer you. He's here and he's here to answer prayers. Begin to round up your prayers now as we round up because we've gone beyond the five minutes I asked. Begin to round up your prayers as we round up now in the name of Jesus. Begin to round up. Father, we just want to thank you. I thank you for every prayer request of your people. Let every prayer request become a miracle and let them all become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Father, I join my faith with the faith of your people. Let every prayer become what will bring glory. As you said concerning that blind man, that what he was passing through, it's for the name of God to be glorified, for God's power to be made manifest. Father, everyone under the influence of my voice tonight, wherever Amen. they are, all over the world, Amen. Lord, in the name Amen. of Jesus, that your name Amen. be made manifest that your name be glorified. Please answer every prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. By the special grace of God, we meet on April 27 for the April edition, the last, last uh, Saturday in April. Please remember that the whatever you use to join this meeting, any whether you i know we have people who are on youtube and who are on facebook for those of you who are on zoom uh whatever you use to join any link is permanent the time for the meeting is permanent the link is permanent the passcode is permanent okay everything about what so you can always use what you use now to join the meeting on april 27 7 p.m lagos time you don't need to be reminded please try and if you are being blessed by this service Please invite your friends, invite your enemies, invite your relatives, share the flyer very easily and remind them. And God will honor you and bless you. And if you have testimonies, please let us know and send it to our WhatsApp and uh, we will know what to do to share it. Or you want to share it by yourself, we will share on your behalf. I want to bless you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare your blessings upon your people. Lord, you said that ministers of god are empowered to bless i therefore declare pastoral blessings upon them all of you you are no longer cursed you are blessed from today in the name of jesus may god lift his countenance towards you may god show you mercy may god look upon you with favor may god forgive your sins may god give you a new beginning May God Amen. bless your family members. May God Amen. bless your children. May Amen. God answer all your prayers. May Amen. God change your stories that are not good and make Amen. them good. May God Amen. give you an Easter present. Amen. The power that raised Jesus from the dead. That power raises up every good thing that has died in your family. In the Amen. name of Jesus. May the wind of God blow favor promotion, blessings upon your family in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. That long prayer you have been praying for a long time, God will answer it in this coming month of April. And so, Father, we thank you. Glory be to your name. I cover you with blood of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name of God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, you are blessed. And you are blessed forever. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, we are going to share the grace now. When we share the ah, grace, feel free. Hallelujah. Let's worship God together. We'll be playing some worship song for another 10 minutes. 
you know, while you are busy trying to get your dinner. Uh, let's, really? let's, let's, let's worship God. And um, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Whose goodness and message shall be lost the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever, ever. Amen. Amen. As we are sharing the grace, the grace, somebody was getting healing on the right eye. You know, that, that tells you God is still working. So the next thing is as we are watching God, just keep Amen. on praising God in your family, and God will still be doing the remaining miracles is yet to do. God bless you. And good night. See you on April 27th. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah.